assalamu alaikum friends my name is mohammed yunus and i am audio technical developer so uh, as you guys know that we are working on audio 16 technical course so if you haven't subscribed to our channel so you need to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so uh, so far we have discussed um, a lot of uh, things related to audio user interface and we have used the debug mode and customize different features like adding a new field to the model show that field on the view we have discussed different views like form view tree view and um, kanban view we have also discussed about menus actions so uh, if you don't uh, if you didn't watch those videos you need to watch that uh, if you don't know about these things but if you know about it and uh, you have the basic knowledge of Voodoo structure then you can skip this video so in this video we are just going to discuss about the Voodoo module structure so whenever you want to add any customized feature to Voodoo so you need to create a custom module which is called add-in in Voodoo so Voodoo has a add-ins Voodoo is a con combination of different modules uh, which uh, combine uh, like which uh, combines with each other and uh, make this application and so like you can uh, you can specifically install some of the modules uh, like to get uh, the functionality so if you want to add only the sales feature you just need to install the sales module and it will only show you the sales functionality so uh, this way uh, this is the directory which is responsible for Udo community modules and the same way if you want to uh, install uh, enterprise Udo you just need to follow all the steps of the Udo community and then you just need to download the code of the enterprise and you can just uh, paste it here in this Udo directory and then add the enterprise add-ins path just like we have added for the community add-ins path uh we can see here in the odo config file we have added the odo community add-ons here so you just need to add the enterprise add-ons path here okay uh, so uh these are the all the add-ons that are responsible uh for odo functionality so here if you open any of this module you can see different uh files and different uh directories inside this module so first of all let's start with this uh, manifest file so manifest file is responsible to uh, hold all the uh, different information related to this module so like first is the name which which is should be unique like it should be uh, something that describes this module and uh, this uh, this file is like uh, added in the form of dictionary if you know about dictionary what is dictionary in Uru. so you need to define it in the form of dictionary and then you can add the version you need to add the category like what is the category of this module summary of this module description what is the purpose of this module depends which is important means that uh, like if you if you want to customize the features that are available in account uh, so you need to add that module in this uh, depends uh, section like uh, what uh, what modules uh, this uh, depends okay and then this is the data section which uh, which means that you need to add all the views related and security related things uh, in this uh, in this data section then installable true means that you want to make it installable if you if you make it installable false then you will not be able to install this one so this is a pre uh, post init hook which is uh, something that will execute and license which uh, you need to define like what is the license for this okay and then uh, we will have to open this init file which is uh, like the most important file if if all the all the models that you define in this module you need to in import in this uh, a file which you can see here all the um, all the models model file and all the python related directories needs to be imported here otherwise it will not work it will not load into the system okay so then we will start from the top which is the data file so this will contain all the xml data that uh, uh, you can add so we will discuss the details uh, step by step in the upcoming videos but this is just the uh, our view of the module structure this directory is responsible to hold all the 
all the information related to the translation of uh, different terms and the models uh, directory is responsible to have all the python files that have uh, that have models and fields and all the function inside it and this is the security directory which is responsible to hold all the data all the things related to the security like um, uh, to have the access right to different users static means uh, this contains the css file the javascript files and all the pictures related things so test is uh, related uh, contains the data related to the code related to the testing of this application views are uh, uh, directory contains all the files all the xml files that are related to the views uh, like i showed you in uh, the previous videos these are the different views so in order to develop these views you need to code some xml and these are those xml files are available in this views directory and uh, this wizard directory is uh, to show the pop-up messages which we discuss in the upcoming videos so this is just the basic overview of uh, the module of an Udo, so it is not necessary to add all this directory because if you open this uh, other file, it will contain some other uh, like directories which you can see like controllers which are related to the website, like the front end, and uh, you can see the reports. So uh, these contain some different uh, you know, functionalities. But uh, this is the basic thing that you need to add. The basic thing is at the init file, which is mandatory, and the manifest file, which is mandatory. And if you have models, you need to add the models directly. If you don't have models, uh, then you don't need to add it. Okay. So uh, this is it for this uh, video. These are some basic things. If you have some uh, questions related to the Odo module structure, then uh, you need to join our discard group the link of the discard group is also in the description of the video and also uh, you can join it and ask uh, any question there so uh, in the upcoming in the next video we will discuss how to create uh, a custom module and all the necessary directories uh, so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you